um, as I'm doing some some different projects in this room, I'm gonna go over um, the painting of these walls. Um, the ceilings were painted not too long ago, um, but in this case, what we're gonna do, um, you want to prepare the wall, the floor, meaning, I mean, I'm gonna change this carpet, so, you know, I don't gonna have a problem with this carpet being, you know, marked with some, some uh, paint or whatever. Uh, but I'm gonna take all the covers out, the receptacle, the switches, the phone lines out, uh, take the, you know, the window trimmings out. If you have little holes that you wanna fix, uh, this is the best chance go and get just a little bit of a, a compound, drywall compound and cover those little holes, let it dry and then just, you know, send it down and have it ready. I'm going to do a little bit of light sanding through the entire room uh, just to make sure that I have some grip on the, on the new, with the new paint. Um, and just take all the, you know, spider webs or whatever you find out as well. I mean, clean as much as possible and, you know, just prepare the stuff for, for the new paint. So that's how we, we're gonna continue. Well, uh, painting shouldn't be the, you know, shouldn't be the hard, uh, and you, you know, apply some, some principles and some small techniques, easy techniques to use. So, um, because a lot of people ask me, you know, how is it that you can paint fast or whatever, I mean, you have different situations, and always, you know, you have to uh, kind of make sure that you comply with what you need to do. And in this case, we're painting flat walls, really easy. What I did is that I, I already painted around it, you know, I made a cut, the cuts uh, around the frames, base molding, the top ceiling, and I'm putting a link on it and show you how it is, how easy, easy, easy it is. Um, what we're gonna do right now is, and I'm gonna teach you how to cover areas fairly quick. Uh, for that technique, I'm gonna apply paint on the wall and then I'm gonna spray the paint later on. So I'm gonna explain what I'm doing. Um, with a regular 3A nap, roller cover, this is, this is something found in the hardware store or whatever, nothing crazy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a generous amount of paint on the wall surface. So, um, with, with that paint on the wall, I can actually work fairly quick instead of just going back again and losing my, my um, rhythm when I'm painting. And I'll explain in a second what, what, what I mean with that. So, as you notice, I'm applying a few times, don't leave that section, don't let them paint like that, I mean, if you're not able to paint really quick, just, you know, don't do that because you may have paint. So, now that I have paint on the walls, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, um, spray the paint, right? If you notice, I can go um, very close to the wall because I don't want a thick layer of paint right next to the wall. I want to make sure that I can spray that. But, if you notice, what I'm doing is I'm going from top to bottom, I don't need to go back to the tray and go in and I'm applying the same pressure and I know what I'm doing, you know, meaning that I know where, where I'm starting, where I'm leaving, because in times when you have to go back again for paint, then you have trouble. You see, because I have a good amount of paint on the wall, um, I can, I can, you know, run the paint really easy. So, um, after you spread the paint, what you want to do is you want to go back, now I'm putting less pressure and I want to go back and try to avoid it, it's like a big vein of paint, you know, like the seams in between, so you want to go nice and gentle, I mean I'm not applying too much the pressure, I'm just trying to make sure that I'm thinning it, and everything is nice and, and even. So a lot of people say, oh how can you paint a wall, I mean a, a room in 10 minutes, well I mean this is the way, you notice. I've been talking more than what I've been painting. And I have a, a huge section in the red paint. So I hope this little tip will, will help you to understand how to paint fast. Um, you know, watch the other video that I'm teaching how to make the cuts around the frames and doors and base molding. And that's pretty much it. So thank you so much for being my subscribers. If you're not, please subscribe, share it with your friends, like it, and I'll see you in the next one. If you have any other questions, just let me know. Bye bye.